Hello guys, in this video, let's find exception or error details which are thrown from our ASP.NET Core web app in App Insights. So, we have ASP.NET Core web app deployed in app service and we have also enabled App Insights for this app by implementing the required code changes. So guys, we have already covered this in our previous video. We will write custom log in homecontroller.cs log something like this okay then we will throw an exception in home controller dot cs we will explicitly throw an exception and then we will trace this custom log and exception in application insights and guys about exception so of course we will find the complete trace but in addition we can also find the exact file name and line number where that error occurred so guys we are in visual studio and this is our asp.net core web app and let's see the app service in azure portal where this app has been deployed so we are in azure portal and let's open this app service that is my test app service 22 so we have deployed our app into this app service and now under search let's say app insights and let's click on this app insights and you can see this app service is linked with this app insights that means the custom logs which we write or any exception which are thrown in our application they should be logged in this app insights so let's go to the visual studio and let's open this home controller.cs and here we are going to make two changes that is first one let us add a custom log message which we will search in app insights and then we will intentionally throw an exception and then in app insights we will trace that exception and we will also find the exact file name and line number where that exception occurred. So here I will say underscore logger dot log error and let's add this custom message and here I will say int number is equal to I will say convert dot to int 32 and I, here I will say 1 2 3 4 a b c d that means this line it will throw an exception and now let's publish it in azure app service so right click publish and here I will say publish and you can see the publish is successful so let's now go to the azure portal and let's run our app from app service so guys we are back in azure portal and let's open our app service and now to run our application let's click on this browse button and we expect it should throw an exception so let's click on browse and we can see the error and now let's go to the app insights and let's check the details of this error and let's find the complete trace as well so let's open this app insights and first thing you see under overview we can see this failed request and also if i click on these failures please follow my mouse here also we can see the details of failed request but we'll go to the transaction search and we'll find the trace from there so we are in transaction search let's select last 30 minutes and apply and here we can see the exception trace now let's click on this so i'll just click on this and again on left hand side we can see the complete trace and now please follow a mouse let's click on this exception and let's go to the right and let's go down and here we can see this checkbox that is just my code and let's click on that and if you see it shows the details so it shows that it is a number format exception and it has occurred in home controller and line number 23 let's quickly cross check so yes it's a home controller and yes it's a line number 23 you can see the code i highlighted now let's again go back to the transaction search let's go back and guys if you remember we logged our custom message as well so let's check what that message was so let's copy it so it was let us log some error intentionally let me copy it and let me search it over here and i will press enter 
let me just reduce the zoom we have this trace of our custom message and let's open it and again here also we can see all the details and guys having track of such custom log messages is really helpful so when we are debugging production issues based on this information we can find till what point in the request life cycle our request was working normally and where it failed so that's it guys thanks thanks for listening